Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Edgar Casey, who was the greatest medical to intuitive that ever lived. Um, he's been, uh, he was known as the sleeping prophet, the father of holistic medicine, and the most documented psychic medium of the 20th century. Uh, for more than 40 years of his adult life, Casey gave psychic readings to thousands of seekers while he was in an unconscious state diagnosing illnesses. He was born on a farm in Hopkinsville, Kentucky in 1877, and his abilities began to appear during his childhood. He was able to see and talk to his late grandfather's spirit and often played with imaginary friends, which many, many do. I know I had imaginary friends as well, one in particular, and a lot of people um, who have this gift uh, have the imaginary friend. So if you're, if you have children and they talk about an imaginary friend, don't be surprised if they're intuitives. Um, he spoke with this imaginary friend whom he, he said, he told his family were spirits on the other side. He also displayed an uncanny ability to memorize the pages of a book simply by sleeping on it. These gifts labeled the young Casey as strange, but all Casey really wanted to do was help others, especially children. Later in life, Casey would find that he had the ability to put himself into a sleep-like state by lying down on a couch closing his eyes and folding his hands over his stomach. In this state of relaxation and meditation, he was able to place his mind in contact with all time and space, the universe consciousness, also known as the superconscious mind. From there, he could respond to questions as broad as, what are the secrets of the universe? What is my purpose in life? Or questions like, what can I do to help my arthritis? Uh, how were the pyramids of Egypt built? His responses to these questions came to be called readings, and their insights offer practical help and advice to individuals even today. Many people are surprised to learn that Edgar Casey was a devoted churchgoer and Sunday school teacher. At a young age, Casey vowed to read the Bible for every year for the rest of his life, and at the time of his death in 1945, he had accomplished this task. Perhaps the reading said it best when asked how to become a true psychic medium, Casey's advice was to become more spiritual. So I really have a great deal of admiration for Edgar Casey, and I follow a lot of his practices in the Edgar Casey Health and Healing Diet. Dr. Neil Zepkowski, who resides in Lilydale, New York, I've had him. I've been honored to have him here several times to my center. He resides um, just outside of Lilydale, New York, and he's a regular there. Uh, he sits on the assembly with me, and he um, is a regular there. I think he's on the board now. Um, just an amazing, amazing man. He is a doctor. He's helped many, many people, and uh, he he is is a specialist on the uh, the Edgar Casey Health and Healing Diet. So, you know, if you want to read more about Edgar Casey, um, uh, it, 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 he's really a very interesting person to know more about and can really enhance your life, especially when it comes to dietary needs and, and what's important, what's good to put into your body and what isn't good to put in your body. A lot of little, little things that, you, you know, like... Uh, Welch's grapefruit juice is one of the best things that you can drink. Almonds is one of the healthiest things that you can take into your body. And he talks, you know, goes into a little more detail with each. So Edgar Casey was really an amazing character. Um, I, I have a real problem when people say, well, I'm a medical intuitive, you know, and I'm a medical intuitive. And, and I say, no, you're not. Because the only true medical intuitive um, that I know of in my lifetime is Edgar Casey, And that remains the same. There's an Edgar Casey Center down in um, down in Virginia, Virginia Beach, and I know people travel from all over the world to uh, visit this. And all his documented cases are there, um, there within within the walls of this this amazing institute. Um, but I am, uh, you know, I, I say to people, um, I'm a little bit of a medical intuitive in the sense that when spirit energy pulls in for me, they make me feel a sensation in my body or outside my body of what was most affected before they passed. So in other words, I did a reading, you know, a week ago and I felt a sensation around my liver and pancreas. And I said, I'm feeling a sensation in the liver pancreas. And they said, yes, my mother died from pancreatic cancer. You know, so for me, they make me feel a feather-like sensation. They don't have the ability to make me feel pain. They don't have that ability. But they can make me feel a little sensation, which for me um, enhances the evidential mediumship and, and gives them more evidence that I am, in fact, connecting with their loved ones. And as I said to you before, you know, I, I have a, a I, I really don't like when you hear a medium say, um, 
oh, your, your loved one had difficulty breathing before they passed. We are all going to have difficulty breathing before they pass. So if it's in the chest area, you know, I always say to my students, let's get a little more information than that. Do you feel fluid, you know, like a congestive heart failure? Do you, is it disease? Do you hear the word cancer or COPD or whatever? So spirit does work well with you when you're doing this in the right way, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Edgar Casey because I think he really is someone who enhanced many lives when he was in the living sense and he continue, continues to do so in the spiritual sense, okay? So enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and as always, I leave you in God's love and light.